Hey Rich, out here doing stuff. So, if you guys have been following this channel, you may have noticed the name has changed. So welcome to sort of a new channel. We're gonna call it Side by Side Blog Garage. And the reason for that is with the growth of the main channel and how things have gotten bigger and badder, um, we find ourselves skipping over a lot of the little nitty gritty details that we used to cover. There's so. a lot of those. A lot of broken stuff, a lot of jacked up things. Turns out, when you ride machines like we do, hard, things break. And a lot of that stuff doesn't make it on camera like Doug was saying. So this will give us a good opportunity to cover some of that stuff and show you guys how things get fixed around here. Yeah. Should be pretty cool. Yeah. And that's something you guys have asked for. You know, we skip a lot of the little things that we don't necessarily think are super duper entertaining. So, you know, they'll be here, but this should still be cool. So this customer car that just got brought in, this is getting a big turbo kit, whole bunch of stuff. And uh, we just got back late last night from Florida, ripping Cletus and cars, ripping the mud. So Rick started unloading. We got mud, light off the mud life off the trailer. We got to get the rest of this stuff unloaded we'll take a look at 2jp see how she's doing and kind of you know go over <laughs> what we have to do to recover from that trip overall things are in pretty decent shape so we'll get this trailer unloaded have a look at uh, what we got to work with here all right trailers on un unloaded roads getting paved so that's cool that tire <laughs> <laughs> is smoked unfortunately that wheel is smoked as well there's the other one from jp we gotta do something with those tires yet but we got some other stuff on the way back from florida bought this stuff on online auction ran across it on facebook and uh, we picked it up on the way back so one of my sort of short-term goals for this place is to get a mill and a lathe in here so working on that ran across this auction for this gauging place that was closing down and just bought a bunch of good stuff for dirt cheap we got a couple of surface plates we got a height gauge we got a whole bunch of calipers there's a bunch more dial calipers in another box we got uh, a bunch of uh, indicators here for setting stuff up so Good little score there. Gonna start kind of organizing that back corner. Eventually when we get a mill and a lathe in here, we should be set up pretty well to uh, really be able to do a lot more stuff in house. All right, Rick, more good stuff has just showed up. I'm gonna go show off these new freaking trailer wheels. So we've been having sort of an issue with the wedge. Not really an issue, but what we've been finding is that the wheels on it are just pretty thin, honestly. You, know, you hit a big pothole, or if you curb it just a little bit with weight on it, it bends the wheel slightly and then the wheel wobbles and then it tears the tire up. We've replaced like three wheels on it already, so. Not a good deal. Rick found <laughs> the solution. Bling Shoo! bling, baby. Look at that, man, boys. These are <clears throat> aluminum dogs for the trailer. We got seven of them, so all six plus the spare. Shouldn't uh, be nearly easy to bend. And what'd you pay for these, like? 72 bucks a piece. 72 bucks a pop. Shipped. So those will pay for themselves as we're not tearing up tires going across the country. They make the wedge look a little flasher. She's a good girl. Yeah. Deserves yeah. a little love. That's a good job. Yup. So Larry has got like uh, 11,000, almost 12,000 miles on it. Now we haven't rotated the tires yet. So uh, rather than spending basically half a day plus, more than that probably, doing the tire rotation on Larry because tires have to get dismounted to do that. And then doing all the tires on this, we're gonna run the uh, whole trailer and truck across the street to the tire shop. They've been real good to us. Just have them rotate the tires on the truck, swap those wheels out of the trailer. The tow rig will be burning right. Yeah, she needs an oil change and uh, maybe a vacuum, maybe a little bit more than a vacuum. Definitely a vacuum. pretty cached because we went serious mud riding a couple days ago. And then yeah, that rig's gonna be ready to go out to Glamis. Uh, we're taking my truck too, you guys' favorite, the EcoBoost F-150. That's going to have 34 foot of trailer and three machines <laughs> on it again. 34 hours deep, baby. Just, Just driving people crazy, man. Yep. So yeah, Think maybe we'll unload halfway. Maybe run a 12, you know, just to do it in the quarter mile. Find some drag strip, <laughs> hook back up and get. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's get tires and wheels swapped out and uh, I'll probably start giving 2J a little look over. OK, we're checking out. Checking out 2j so drop the oil out of it oil looks 
really good it was clean didn't have any foreign fluids in it didn't smell weird or anything like that um pulled the plugs out of it take a took a look at the plugs plugs look perfect no sign of damage whatsoever so really happy about that oil pressure still good fires up idles sounds good so seems like we don't have any issues we are just going to do a quick filter cut so this is the filter that came off of it from uh, the burnout and from the drag runs in florida so we got our filter cutter we're going to pop the top take a look at the inside make sure we didn't uh, hurt any bearings or anything if something was going wrong in there and we were making any metal we'll find it in here so that'll be the last step and if everything in there looks good i think we're all systems go all right filters cut pull the old core out of her see what we got here got a bit of a mess overall looking okay i'm gonna put the camera down so i got two hands to go through this a little closer but right off the bat i don't see uh anything real concerning so all right filter cut looked excellent found nothing in there basically no metals whatsoever no bearing material a couple tiny little black flakes which i think is just still some leftover stuff from the uh the rubber tube all the plumbing but nothing concerning so 2j engine is uh good and healthy so happy about that so at this point i think we're just going to push her back give her a nice wash job and uh after that we'll probably swap other fluids gonna probably swap the diff fluid at this point gonna definitely swap trans fluid at this point but all that stuff is working fine so she's good to go 55 gallon drum of waste oil time to get her out of here that's good rick l l l right in the middle l 2jp honestly held up great for what we put it through after going through the whole thing washing it all down checking it all close the only actual damage that i can find to the machine is this fender <laughs> which did get roached so that'll have to be replaced we'll put a new graphic on it and then uh, when we get a chance we'll extend the exhaust out beyond the fender a little bit and i think going forward that will be just fine so happy to see that one more thing on that note real quick so normally we don't really address negativity in these videos so, you know somebody's always got negative comments whatever we blow right by them um but in this case we received a lot of flack for doing uh the burnout at the cletus and cars event being you know pretty hard on the car a lot of people saying it was ridiculous to treat it that way instead of going and doing that we should have been at this race or that race or you know whatever so i thought just real quickly we kind of talk about you know what our thoughts are on that first very simply is that we built this machine to have fun with first and foremost not to sit in the garage and come out a couple times a year for a couple of races we built it to rip so if it sounds fun to us we're gonna go do it the second um you know more important probably is that you go to an event like this like cletus and cars with these guys and rip a big fat burnout that's going to be seen by millions of car enthusiasts and there's a pretty good chance in doing that some of them are going to see this side by side ripping this big nasty burnout going down the drag strip whatever and think man that's pretty cool maybe i should check out this side by side stuff and in that maybe we draw a few more people into the sport and overall i think that's a positive thing and then third point kind of on that same note if you you know kind of pay attention to the way things are trending which i'm sure a lot of you do motorsports in general especially amongst young people are struggling a little bit so you just don't have as many new enthusiasts as you know we had in decades past so in my mind guys like cletus and all his buddies that run youtube channels that come to these events they are i think probably our you know best hope at drawing new people to motorsports young people watch these videos and i think and i hope 
they you know maybe get hooked on cars and then you know that brings up a new generation of enthusiasts and keep these sports going that we love so anything that we can do to support those guys and you know to help bring these kind of shenanigans to you know more people and specifically young people who might look at that and then take an interest in motorsports i think is a great thing as well so for everybody out there who is you know whining about you know the level of abuse that we put this car through you know thinking we're just simpletons for beating on something very nice just know that there's some bigger ideas at play so okay we'll let that go enough of that crap um other stuff going on in the shop beast mode uh you guys haven't seen the project that's going on with that yet i'm not gonna give too much of it away but <laughs> uh it's gonna go real fast and you guys are gonna get a good laugh out of how we're making it do it uh 168 you've seen the tear down on that over on the main channel that's uh coming along pretty well i know it doesn't look great right now but we've got a lot of parts here for it including that box right there and we've got a lot of parts that are about to show up we got uh the old cf1 with the shocks out of her so you know what that means those suckers are out the shock therapy it's gonna be ripping real good here soon and also there's some other stuff coming for that uh we got something cool coming for the talon we got cool stuff coming for the buffalo these are a couple of customer cars that are done just waiting on getting picked up so i think that's it for today i know it's kind of uh slow right now so tomorrow's thanksgiving so you know not everybody's at the shop today but going forward you know i would like to hear more about what you guys would like to see on this particular channel do you like the idea of covering this stuff in more detail that's not necessarily main channel content you know what kind of stuff would you like to see here let us know in the comments i don't know the frequency of videos we're planning on just filming basically everything that's going on and getting them out there as often as possible so thanks for watching please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys back here soon